So regardless of who you think is going to win, the action in the ring in a Triple G Canelo fight is virtually guaranteed based on their styles. As you're watching this fight, did you think that Khan would be able to keep this up with your race for the 12 rounds? I thought that was the question. It was unlikely, but but th this was the best version of what that fight could be. Right early, Khan was really good. You know. Uh, uh, really seemed to be very sharp and at his best. The threat of Canelo brought that out in him. Virgil Hunter trains guys in a consummate, to, to be consummate boxing professionals in the ring. You look at Andre Ward's style, he can do anything he needs to. But that kind of style, in fact, requires some risk. Scary fighters, in the old days, scary meaning for you young kids, scary means that you're scared. Doesn't mean the other guy's scared. Scary type fighters who just like run and, and, and get away, those don't tend actually to be great defensive fighters. To, to, to be really good and, and well-rounded boxers, you have to take some risks and, 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 and get into punching range. And that's the way Virgil Hunter trains guys. And the best practitioner of that of the Virgil Hunter style right now is Andre Ward. Not everyone can do what Andre Ward can do, and that includes Amir Khan, although he did really well, had a lead early, Canelo showed his boxing ability as the fight wore on. You noticed that more of Khan's shots were falling short, and, and, and increasingly Canelo was the guy countering with crisp shots that were accurate. And eventually the bigger guy caught Amir uh, um, with a shot that knocked him out, which, you know, if, if, if I asked you before the fight, what's the best version of what this fight could be, it probably looks something like that. How much does, uh, does Chuk, would you have to make concessions to get this Canelo fight? Because they're very strict on 160, but some, you know, we see fighters that are... Some negotiations. You know, I remember when, um, I guess it was Pacquiao and Mayweather, and people start saying, oh, now they're saying... Floyd saying this or Pacquiao saying that after these first 10 initial rounds of Nego didn't go well. The negotiation, that the, the process that eventually led to them fighting, everyone else was hearing that ah, the fight's not going to take place. But actually what I heard was, no, I'm hearing back and forth. I'm hearing a negotiation take place. So I wouldn't be too discouraged about one side right now saying they want 70-30 or they wanted a 155 and the other side balking. Because what's happening is they're negotiating. Can he afford not to get a Canelo fight? They say it's a belt, but at 34 years old, he's a real big need of a superstar. Can they afford to take that and pass up on a Canelo fight without making it? Well, I mean, what you're asking me to do is, is to negotiate one side or another, well, no, right? Like, I don't know. I mean, I mean how, how that, will certain, that will certainly be Golden Boy's position vis-a-vis -vis Triple G, and Triple G's position will be something different. And everyone hopes they meet in the middle. And by the way, any reasonable person here could hammer that out pretty quick. I mean, I, I, not to negotiate for them, but you guys could. I, I could look, look here. You're 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 Golden Boy, and you're Triple G. Okay, Golden Boy, what do you want? What what do you want from Triple G? You want Golden Boy? What do you want from Triple G? You're right, Canelo. They get forty percent. You want six? You want so? Oh, you want sixty? Yeah. And you want? Well, actually, let's say you want seven. Okay, seven. Okay. And and you want one fifty-five. Okay. And what do you want? Okay. Sixty, fifty, fifty. Okay, so make the deal. Go ahead, you two make the deal. It's not that easy though, Megan. If you win the negotiation, you want 70, he wants 30. If you win, you got 65-35. If, if, if it's an even negotiation, you got 60-40. If he wins, it's 55-45. And the closer you get to 160, the better you did. And vice versa. I mean, this is not rocket science. Reasonable people should be able to make that happen. But, you know, that's up to the negotiating ability of both sides. Matt, who's really, who's really the ace high, though? You have Canelo didn't sell out. Uh, Triple G sells out. His pay per view is a dud. I don't know what pay per view number. I wouldn't, no I wouldn't really say. Yeah, I wouldn't say Triple G's pay per view is a dud. Nor would I say not selling out 20,500 seats against the guy who almost no one thought was going to win and had a spotty record recently. I wouldn't say that's a dud either. I remember. Not to say dud. I remember when Floyd was coming up, already a champion, already pound for pound way up there, and he and he fight in front of half filled arenas, and he was getting a lot of criticism at the time for being a boring fighter and therefore not attracting an audience. I remember thinking, wait a minute, there are various ways to get this done. Maybe you've inspired enough of a following to watch you on TV, but not enough to actually pay the money to come and see you. Maybe that's partly because your audience doesn't believe the other guy poses a risk, or whatever the case may be. Um, or you're not you're not promoted around a geographical area that you come from, 
Terrence Crawford can bring out a crowd. Uh, uh, Andre Ward in the, in the Bay Area can bring out a crowd. But Floyd wasn't tied down to one geographical area. He didn't bring out, but his ratings were high, right? And he was getting all this criticism for not being exciting enough. And I was like, I don't know. He looks good to me. He's beating everybody pretty easily. And, and I'm watching him on TV. Everyone else I know is watching him on TV. So I'd be careful about making assumptions about the Lovekins marketing based on 150,000 buys against a, 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 a French Canadian guy, ultimately, really, um, who who'd barely been exposed on American television. Uh, and, and I'd also be careful making assumptions about Canelo's ability to draw against a guy who is considered a no-hoper in, in an arena like Canelo seen he would have sold out uh, the MGM, like the old MGM Grand Garden Arena, right? That would have looked good. He brought a good crowd out. That that fight's the biggest fight that can be made in boxing. And even if Floyd or Pacquiao came back, if they didn't fight Triple G or Canelo or each other, who could they bump a Triple G Canelo fight? Who could they fight to bump? No one. There's no one I don't think that Pacquiao or Floyd could fight other than each other or Triple G or Canelo that could bump these two off a date. So what does that tell you? So that's the biggest fight in boxing. Speaking of big